welcome to Parrot Gaming Productions, where today we are going to review the bow mod. Uh, as you can see there, there are a lot of different bow and arrows, uh, as well as uh, a lot of different arrows that you can choose from. And uh, if you uh, if you want to play with this on, it, it kind of it, it's very old school. It feels it, it I feel like it's very lore friendly. Uh, the, go to the chemistry station where you can craft the mongol, the wood, the recurve, or the compound bow. The mongol bow is a little different. You need a brahmin hide, a brahmin skull, as well as a rash tag hide, as well as uh, a bunch of other things to, to kind of note as of there. The wood bow and the mongol bow can craft normally, which are great starter weapons. The recurve bow is kind of like a step up. And then the compound bow is the best. And as you can see there, it takes three and two. Although I have some... Uh, I have some complaints about the mod, but really, overall, I would give the mod a solid 10 out of 10. As you can see there up at the top, it says Aerotype Switcher. That is a something that you're going to want to create just because that helps you switch in the middle of combat. There's a bunch of basic bows, uh, bu uh, I'm sorry, a bunch of basic arrows that you can use. Um, the arrows don't have the damage. It, it uh, Basically, it goes off your drawstring damage. Also, be aware that some of these arrows that you create, some create 20, some create 5, and some create just 1. So just be a very, uh, very, uh, you know, watch the upper left-hand corner to see how many you actually, um, how many you actually create. Uh, the way that you actually level up the bow and arrow is through the utility station with the draw, or not the utility, through the weapon station where you use the drawstring. If you're in the middle of combat, that's actually how you switch your arrows. The common arrows that you can use, like the broadheads, the stone arrows, and all that other stuff, are very basic arrows. There's not much to them. They, they have a very, flight, a very straight flight path. As you can see there, the incendiary arrows are uh, pretty great here. There's not much to them. It's just a giant Molotov. Um, they're very effective in com they're ridiculously effective in combat as well as the uh, explosive arrows as you can see here the explosive arrows are pretty insane they are uh, they're just mini grenades one thing to note uh, with the uh, the rain arrows here uh, the rain arrows are basically a bunch of pins on the end of a, as you can see it shoots out like a shotgun this is the nuclear arrow which basically it's, it's basically a fat man but condensed down so as you can see it's not as big as a fat man uh you know with the explosive but it is still uh, technically a nuclear arrow which is uh, pretty fun i haven't tested this in combat the next arrow is called the storm arrow and the storm arrow is basically uh, a, a bunch of mini explosions you know it, it, that as you can see it fires off like a bunch of missiles here it is slowed down a little bit there it fires off a, like a shotgun-esque missile style the uh, st uh the uh tracking storm Arrow, basically, it locks onto targets nearby. I'm not sure how that works. I'd, I'd never tested it in combat. The regular fire arrows are exactly what you f you would you would think they are. The first drawback of this, which isn't really a drawback, but as you can see, uh, VATS is not animated. Really, that effect, it's, it's a very odd, quick animation. Um, as you can see there, just boop, and it's done. That is the... First negative of it, but like I said, it's not really a negative. This is the second negative. You go into Kellogg's uh, house, you unlock Kellogg's house, and then you get the best compound CB19 bow. Um, and you get a couple of good arrows to use here. Uh, this is the explosive arrow that I use on that quote unquote settler that tries to lure you into a place here. And as you can see, she just kind of gets blown up and, you know, moves off there. Uh, this is against a stunted Yagwe, and in two arrows, I'm actually able to blow up the Yagwe as well as the car itself, which is pretty impressive. The next one that you'll see is me against a bunch of uh, mole rats with the uh, incendiary. Nick Valentine will actually catch on fire, and he's not even that close, as you can see. He's, he's not even close to the arrow as it goes off. And then uh, I'll be showing you the, the, the rain arrows, and then I'll show you killing Kellogg. Uh, like I said, uh, the, 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 the two drawbacks are the fact that you can get the best bow pretty much very early on in the game. The way that you level up and adjust the arrows is at a weapon station. You, adjust, you level up the drawstring as well as you can add reticles and sights to things. Um, the drawstring, it does take a little time to start up with, but this bow, you start off at a 55, a 50 or 55 draw strength. And with some, like with the broadhead arrows, you can actually retrieve arrows off of the bodies. 
if if you if you do it correctly and you can even retrieve arrows off of uh, with the explosive arrows you can actually re-retrieve them off of the bodies if, if you hit somebody directly uh, those are really the only drawbacks of the game but again they're not really drawbacks because as you see there's two explosive arrows that i pick up in kellogg's body i wouldn't say it's it's hugely negative but it's you know it, it can kind of make you overpowered if you do things correctly overall though 10 out of 10, very lore friendly, very fun, uh, you know, very, very fun mod to use. I would highly encourage you to download it. Link is going to be in the description down below. If you like a lot of these videos, uh, please continue to watch. I'm going to be reviewing a bunch more mods, especially with the mods that I play as I continue on through, uh, through what I call the Can You Beat series, where I try to beat Fallout 4 in a bunch of different ways. I hope you like it. I hope you download the mod. Give some love to the mod creator. He did, uh, sorry, they did an excellent job. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Later.